Well, it is time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. And joining us this morning, we have a very special guest, cardiologist, Dr. Manoj Sharma. So thank you so much for being here. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Yes, we're glad to have you. So this morning, we are talking about heart disease, many types of heart disease, doctor, and artery diseases. So can, can you get us started with explaining what those look like and what angina is? So angina is a complex symptoms which occurs due to mismatch in the blood supply or the oxygen delivery to the heart as compared to the demand. It can present as chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigability, and typically it occurs because of blockages in the arteries that happen and uh, that leads to restriction of blood flow and that causes the mismatch. And these symptoms or the group of symptoms uh, are angina or angina equivalent. All right, very good. Good to know the symptoms too. So tell us a little bit also about coronary microvascular disease, also known as MVD. So coronary microvascular disease has been recently recognized more and more. Mm -hmm. Now, just to give a background, as I said, these arteries that develop blockages, these are run on top of the heart and uh, these arteries comprise maybe about 10% of the total network of blood vessels. And uh, there are smallest of the small blood vessels which actually comprise 90% of the blood supply in the heart. Wow. They cannot be seen by naked eye or by angiogram and uh, they can also develop dysfunction or blockages and lead to disruption of blood flow and oxygen delivery. I always give an example yeah. is to, with traffic because we are all familiar with that. Uh, just imagine the big arch, uh, blood vessels or arteries are like I-75 and okay. that's all we can see. And if there is a traffic jam, we can't get home. But these smaller blood vessels are like small side roads and subdivision roads. Or, and if there is a problem in those, we still can't reach home. So the oxygen cannot still reach the heart if there is problem in these smaller blood vessels. And that is what microvascular disease is. We cannot see that on the angiogram, but yet the patients are suffering. Thank you for painting that picture. That actually does help us a little bit understand uh, better. So as a clinical professional yourself, how do you recognize and diagnose uh, a blood flow issue? So typically, you know, we may hear from our friends or relatives that, you know, they say that they have typical symptoms of uh, chest pain, angina, et cetera. Yeah. And yet you know, they've been told that they have normal arteries or no significant blockages. And these are the people we start suspecting microvascular disease. It's surprising that almost 25 to 50% of these people may have microvascular disease. And it's important to recognize that uh, because the treatment remains on the same lines as uh, coronary artery disease, as we know. Okay. And uh, once we recognize that, or once we start suspecting this, then we can do the test in the same cath lab where we do the angiography. And uh, Covenant is one of the few hospitals in the state that provides this type of test. And uh, we put a wire through the same catheter into the artery, measure the pressures, measure the resistance and the blood flow, and gives us the diagnosis whether the patient has microvascular dysfunction or disease. Very good. So if, say, a patient does experience some of these symptoms, chest pain, what is their next step? So I would say the you know, first and most important is talk to your doctor. Okay. Because if there is any doubt that you're having symptoms of chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, uh, symptoms that cannot be explained by normal day-to-day -day activity or there's sudden change in your condition, then I'd recommend talking to your doctor. And then there are certain tests that can be done to further elaborate on the diagnosis. Very good, thank you for sharing. And Dr. Lastly, what would you want people to know about heart and vascular diseases and ways to keep them healthy? So the first and most important thing is, again, as I said, talk to your doctor whenever you have disease, uh, or whenever you have symptoms like yeah. this, to talk to your doctor so that the adequate diagnosis can be made. The second point I want to make is that if you're told that uh, you don't have any blockages and everything is clean and yet you continue to have symptoms, persist and ask for whether there are other diagnoses like microvascular disease that may be affecting because the treatment is going to remain the same. And lastly but not least for my patients and for public I would say I always recommend rather than saying do's and don'ts, yeah. I tell them more and less. So exercise more, eat healthy more, and eat more fruits and vegetables. And I always tell them to do less 
of uh, sodium, sugar, fatty foods, and of course, control of risk factors mm -hmm. is important. Cessation of smoking, uh, control of cholesterol, control of high blood pressure, and uh, control of diabetes. Okay, something we can all do and work on. That's, uh, that's great. Now, doctor, just out of curiosity myself, is there a certain age group or um, does it affect men more than women or is it pretty much uh, widespread? So, uh, you know, I'm glad you asked that question. And uh, traditionally, in fact, when I was in med school also, it was believed that heart disease is a disease of men mm -hmm. and uh, men suffer from heart disease. What we are realizing more and more that uh, heart disease occurs equally, okay. if not more, in women. So uh, the symptoms may be different and symptoms may be atypical and therefore recognition is important. And also in women, the symptoms may be slightly different from men. Uh, there is more uh, shortness of breath and fatigue and microvascular dysfunction also may occur more in women. So definitely uh, in, in ladies and women, I would say that if you have symptoms and you've been told that yes, no blockages, persist okay. and ask your doctor for more testing. Yeah, be your own advocate for sure. Absolutely. All right, doctor, anything else you'd like to share? I just wanted to reiterate once more yeah. that do more of exercise, eat healthy fruits and vegetables, and refrain from smoking, and uh, refrain from sodium and excess of sugar. Very good. Great reminders. Doctor, thank you for coming in this morning. My pleasure. Oh, thank cool. you. Yes, of course. And if you would like more information for those of you at home, just head on over today's topic on the Hot Links page. That's on our website, WNEM.com.